a free learner. I'm Teacher Lydia. I'm coming to teach you mathematics activities. Yes, you have been, we have learned together with you uh, English activities. We have learned together Kiswahili activities. Today we will learn English activities. Now, uh, mathematics activities. When we are doing mathematics activities, we are going to learn fractions. And in fractions, we are going to look at half as part of a whole. Now, I will use some shapes here. Can you identify this shape? What is the name of this shape? Very good. This is a circle shape. I will draw my circle shape here. That is a circle shape. Now, this is a whole circle. And I can make it to be a fraction. I will fold it. I will fold it into two. If I fold it, you see now, is it a circle again? No. This is a half circle. It is like if I, if I have this, I cut it in the middle. So, how many parts do I have? I have this part one and this part two. So my circle has two parts. If I make it straight, it becomes a whole circle. If I fold it in the middle, it becomes part of a circle. So this part of a circle is half. And we can also write half in numbers. How do we write half in numbers? Uh-huh. We write one. We write a small line and then write two. The reason why we say that this is one big circle and then now we have cut it into two. We have part one and we have part two. So we have two parts. We have this part and we have this part that makes a whole circle. So you can write half is the same as one over two. So if you see anywhere written one over two, it means that that is half. So that is this half is part of a whole. Good. Hi, I can use another shape. Look at this shape. Which shape is this? It is a rectangle. How many sides are the same? It has two sides that are the same. If you look at this side and this side, they are same. This side and this side are the same. Remember, a rectangle has four sides. One, two, three, and four. But two sides are the same. So if I want to draw my rectangle, I will put this side will belong a short side. A short side. And then this side becomes very long. So this side and this side are the same. This side and this side are the same. So two sides are the same. Now, I want to fold this rectangle. So I have a part of a rectangle. I have this part of a rectangle. What is this part? This is half. And what is this other part? Half. So, a half and a half gives me what? A whole. So, when we say that this is part, if I cut here, then we say that this rectangle has given us part one and part two. So, half as part of a whole, remember this is a whole rectangle, but this is one part. And this is another part. So we can write it. This is half a rectangle. 
We have said we can also write it as what? 1 over 2. Because this is a whole rectangle. And this rectangle has part 1 and it has part 2. So it is giving us half a part of a rectangle. Each part. So that when we have it, the two parts put together, they give us what? Whole. Okay? We can use another shape. Look at this shape. Which shape is this? This is an oval shape. An oval shape. Uh huh. If you look at this oval shape, we want to get from this hole, we want to get it half as part of a hole. What will we do? We will fold our oval. We are folding it into how many parts? Two parts. One part and the second part. So we are folding it. It is giving us two parts. One part and the second part. So I can come here and cut it and make two parts from it. So I have one part and I have the second part. So this is giving me half. This is giving me half. If I remove this, the cutting, then it becomes whole. So what is this? This is half. It is one over two. And we have said when you are writing half, it is written like that in words. And in numbers or in figures, we write it as one over two. Okay? Higher. I have another shape. Look at this. Which shape is this? What is the name? How many, how many sides does it have? It has one, two, three. So these are what? A triangle. Higher. We can also make two parts from this. We are folding it in the middle. We want to get half as part of a whole. It is a whole thing, but now we are dividing it into two or we are cutting it. So I have one part. This is one part and this is another part. So, if you look at this, I have this part and this part. Which, if I make it straight, it comes back to a whole. So, this will also give us half. Uh -huh. I draw my shape. So, I want to make it as half as part of a whole. So I have cut it. It has given me the first part and the second part. So in words, this is half. And in figures, we have said you write it as one over two. Uh -huh. I think we still have another shape. I have another shape. Look at this shape. Which shape is this? How many sides does it have? It has one, two, three, four. I want us to look at these two shapes and see what is the difference. This shape also has four sides. One, two, three, four. What is the name of this? What did you say the name of this? We said this is a rectangle. This one, if you look at it, it's like all the four sides are the same. A shape with four sides that are the same. It's called what? A square. Very good. This is a square shape. So let us draw our square shape here. Uh -huh. Our square shape is there. 
So, our square shape, we want to make half as part of a whole. What will we do? We fold it into two. So, when we fold this into two, we get one part and the second part. So, this is part of a whole. Okay? So, I can do it here. I can cut it. So, I have part one. I have part two. So, this is half. This is half and this is another half. How do we write half in words? Uh, in figures, one over two. Now, Lana, I want to give you an exercise. I want us to do this exercise. Draw half as part of a whole. Draw part as half of a whole. As you draw half as part of whole, this will be what you are, this is what you are doing. Remember, if this was our circle, this was our full circle, so we want to create half from this full circle. What did we do? We folded the circle into two times, then we got half and another half. So, if, if you have a whole, this is a, a whole circle, if we want to make or we want to draw half as part of a whole, we will just come and cut this into two. And then we turn it is half. So we we'll write here, our answer will be half. That is our answer. We have drawn half as part of a whole. So you will do number two, number three, number four, and number five.